Welcome to Level 3 with the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the fingerprint unlock um, tutorial. So when you get a Samsung Galaxy S5, you have now the possibility to use your finger to unlock the device or to use a private mode. Now the private mode is a quite neat function uh, where you can just turn on the private mode and then if you shoot any pictures or anything um, that you want to keep away from other people to share and just look at, you can hide them from them. It can be videos, audio data, pictures, um, and um, even folders. So just set up fingerprints. I have to swipe my finger eight times um, over the pad to make it <coughs> afterwards quite comfortable to use since then the Galaxy um, S5 won't ask us to do, to do it more than once. Now let's just say hello for the alternative password hello again there must be at least one letter for the alternative passport and as you can see the private mode now is now set so if i would shoot any picture of i don't know a party or just here the secret samsung galaxy s6 maybe and um, we can just go here now out into the um, gallery look at the pictures in the camera you can see here i have some pictures select these go here to the settings and say move to private you can see I have four pictures in my private area, here one of Julian and some of this um, hands-on area. And I can only access these if private mode is on and, it's, we are in, and we are registered. So if I switch off the private mode, all the pictures will be gone. You can see any camera pictures here, nothing of Julian, nothing of this area we are in at. We can look at dogs and all kinds of other things that are on here but not the picture size are set. You can also do this with files. If I go to my file manager, you can also say uh, let's go look at downloaded apps or let's just look at folder view. I hope that's possible. Nope. Device storage. Here let's say, okay, I want to have, let's say, uh, the live demo here, the contacts photo, private settings, and it should be able to move to private mode, but I can only do that, I guess, if we are in private mode, which can access by just swiping your finger once, recognized. And then it should be possible to move folders to private. There we go. Move here. So it was moved. Movies folder as you can see. And now we have a private folder here in the local storage, which I can only access now since we are registered. But if I switch off the private mode again, go to my files, it's gone again, you go to device storage and there is no movies folder anymore. Quite cool, but of course you can also use your fingerprints if you go to the settings part. Fingerprint scanner, as you can see, with, you can use it with three fingers. You can register up to three fingerprints, it says it right here. So a thumb, it, any of your left or right hand fingers, or maybe your um, girlfriend or anything like that, if you really want to give her access to everything. But you can also say, okay, you want to have your lock screen really secure, and you can say you don't want the lock screen to be swipe, you just want it to be fingerprint. Then you can turn off your device and if you turn it on again after a few seconds. It needs your fingerprint, but you can of course shoot pictures also without your fingerprint. So you would shoot a picture. You can access only that one picture and nothing else in the device because it's locked. But if you go back to the lock screen, we can just unlock it by swiping your finger and it works quite great actually. And then we are again here in the device where we can go here inside and just see that one picture that we just took with the camera, but of course not the private pictures because we need the private mode for that. Swipe our finger really quick or use the alternative password and then we have right away here our private pictures again and even our movies if you would have the movie function. So as you can see it works quite great as it does on the Apple iPhone. We just have to put our finger here over the sensor and it unlocks. 
so it's kind of similar, but it really works good here with the swiping. But of course, it won't look as pretty since you have also always you just um, swiping much here over your home button. My name is Balaj. This was the Samsung Galaxy S5 with the fingerprint sensor demo. Till next time, please don't forget to thank you for tuning in.